to think about impending inflation. Yes, so um, you're right. We're, uh, we're taking actually a positive view in uh, the economic uh, recovery in the, in the U.S. and in Canada. Uh, we're seeing, even though we've had uh, a series of uh, rather softer economic numbers in the last couple of weeks, we've actually seen a number of things that uh, we expect to uh, support the, uh, the recovery in the U.S. in the next few months. Uh, so, um, so based on that perspective, we're actually positive on currencies like the U.S. dollar and the Canadian dollar. Uh, we see that the, uh, the injection of liquidity is having a positive impact on, uh, on, the, on asset prices uh, and as a result, as a secondary effect to uh, household wealth and also uh, investor sentiment. Uh, so, um, so we're positive on those currencies. Now, in terms of your question about inflation, inflation at this point does not seem to be a concern. Uh, in fact, with the, you know, the recent decline in commodity prices, if anything, we're probably going to see somewhat of a softer uh, inflation uh, in, the, in the near term. Um, and so that uh, does kind of bode, bode well for, uh, for, uh, for, the, for the economic recovery and also for you know, the softer energy prices uh, we expect will support the consumer spending going forward. So what does the commodity outlook mean for some of the commodity-based currencies? Yes, so um, we've seen obviously in the last uh, last few weeks uh, the uh, the drop in commodity prices, uh, and we, you know we will try to differentiate between uh, different commodities. Uh, you know, first of all, we've had the large drop in gold, and we see that that probably com a combination of different things, but uh, investors, if you think about what was the premise for holding gold to begin with, it was because people were afraid about inflation, about right. the debasing of currencies, and also about large event risk. And at this point, we see little risk in all of those three areas. And so what, that's why we've seen the drop in gold. In the, um, in the, in the, some of the other commodities, like energy commodities, though, um, the, uh, the softer growth in China uh, has pushed uh, industrial metals and also energy prices lower. We view this as more to be more of a, uh, of a short-term phenomenon. We see as economic growth continues to recover, we actually see a rebound in those commodities.